today I've got just three, three little guys and then I'm going to do my dog Annie. So I've got Rosie. Looks like her mom trimmed her legs and she looks kind of goofy. <laughs> and then we've got Nina and uh, um, Clink. So these are, remember the dog we just watched, Ratchet? These are his uh, siblings, I guess you'd call them. They're much smaller than him, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, they're fun. I, it's hard for me to do these little dogs. Like, they're harder for me than the big dogs. And so, I'm wondering, some of you, I know some of you have said you just do little dogs. And I'm wondering, like, how how you are able to reach all their parts easily like yeah like underneath parts specifically and like the legs I find the legs to be quite hard so let me know okay I'm gonna go give a, them a bath and get busy oh Rich went to work for a few hours and then his plan is to come home and um, do some more work on the shelves for the bathroom. So that will be good to get done. We got to get that done because I'd like to get the the bathroom made into the storage room so we can pull these shelves out and have the space for the puppies and Gizzy to be when they get a little bigger. I like them to be blocked off there with the dog door so like all the other dogs can teach them how to go potty and I don't have to it just makes it way easier and it's more like they have more freedom there versus if I use this certain pen that I have like I have a pen that has like a grate and so like when they poop or pee it just falls down into onto a potty pad but I'd rather not have to put them in something like that, you know. I, so, yeah, we, we want to get that job done. It's kind of a horrible time because of, well, it's a wonderful time because of Christmas. But it's a horrible time to do that because of Christmas. It's busy. I got done with these guys. They're cute. I cut Nina's ears shorter. I hope her mom, I think it makes her look so much cuter. I hope her mom likes it okay. They were just really gross and matted and like you can tell there's stuff running out of them and it sticks in the hair and I don't know. She looks cute. And then I did his a little bit shorter too. <laughs> you guys are so cute. And this one's ears were all chopped up weird. Like they had just cut out little pieces so I don't know. We just did what we could with yours, huh? He's, she's such a beautiful color. And she has the knickers. She had, someone had cut knickers on her. So I just went with that. <laughs> You're funny, aren't ya? You're funny. You guys all have very different personalities, don't ya? Yeah, you all look so cute. I know, buddy. Now I'm gonna groom Annie. She's been, like, really licking her feet a ton and her legs. I don't know what the deal is, and she just doesn't look good. So I'm hoping if I give her a groom, I don't know, I hope she's okay. Like, all the dogs have been sniffing her and stuff, too, and she just seems a little off. Huh. Yes, I know. Look at how gross her mouth is. So I'm going to give her a haircut first and then I'm going to bath her with uh, this special kind of shampoo for dogs with skin problems. And hopefully that will help her feel a little better. I'll done with Annie. Like she had this thing on her eye. It looked like a booger. And so I just shaved it, but it started bleeding. So I don't think it was a booger. It was a scab. I don't know how that happened. Poor King. 
I got done grooming Annie and she's coming with us. She's very excited, huh? She's feeling good now, aren't ya? Her ears are still a little wet, so uh, we put a sweater on her and she looks so cute. Hi, Annie. You look so pretty in your pink sweater. Okay, um, we're going to buy... I'm buying two items off of Facebook Marketplace. They're for Christmas, so I don't think I'm going to tell you what they are or show you just in case. Yeah, I'm not going to show you. At the light, turn left. Today. But, and in then. About three miles, turn right onto Glasman Way. And then we're going to uh, Winco because I got to get, I got more dog grooming appointments and so I got to get more dog treats. And then, yeah. and then we're going home um, and uh, Gizzy, or not Gizzy, now I say Gizzy, <laughs> <laughs> Chloe is in heat and so she's coming over we're gonna see Frank if Frank can do his thing <laughs> if that stuff works yeah so um oh my gosh look at the sun I'll show you in a second there's a bunch of cars in the way right now but wow it's really polluted here today ah really polluted so Salt Lake has like one of the worst air qualities during the winter Anybody. It gets pretty, it's pretty bad. We're, ours isn't too bad because we're in the cold. You gotta talk louder. Like how you normally do when there's not a video, when there's not a camera on you. He, he normally is the loud one in real life, and I'm the quiet one. And then when the camera comes on, then we switch roles. <laughs> <laughs> but anywho as I was saying uh, oh yeah so they're bringing her over and then they're also um, Gizzy's guardian family so they're coming to see the puppies today <sighs> so that's what we're doing and there's a lot of traffic hang on let me show you that sun over there Stay in the left two lanes. No, I don't think you can see it. Gosh darn Walmarts. Yeah. <laughs> and every other building. It's really, uh, really orange. Okay. I don't know if you can see the air here. That's why it's so orange, is because of the pollution. It's big, too. But see how, like, dirty the air is and out in Salt Lake like Rich said it's horrible he said you couldn't even see the mountains when he went to work this morning you're a little further away than those mountains there like when you're driving on like 15 but you couldn't see them mm. so. I think you can see how the pollution is today they call this the inversion and I guess because we're surrounded by mountains like and something to do with the pressure like it just gets trapped at the light so use the left two lanes to turn onto Midland Drive that's one of the bad things about living here I guess so we buy have bought the dog treats from the Winco bulk department and it's way cheaper it's still freaking expensive mm -hmm. <laughs> I just spent 70 bucks on dog treats but I just want to show you how cute it is, how Annie takes them. These nails are getting kind of long. We've been meaning to do it. But, oh my gosh. We're, I just changed their blanket. And that fat, the Gizzy's family's coming over to see them and bring Chloe. So, we thought we'd do them real quick. <laughs> so cute. Are you doing the clipping? Sure. My 
held note there. Well, they keep getting stuck on everything, huh? Um, everyone has their eyes open except for two, but they might now. Can you see? No, because <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to look there, huh? <laughs> okay. What do you, because you're, you seem like you're awake. Oh, my little fatty. <laughs> You're so cute. This was one that didn't have their eyes open last time I checked. It's almost. Still doesn't, but it's getting there, huh? Sorry, buddy. So tiring, just sleeping all day and eating and pooping, huh? <laughs> I know. Okay. Clark. <laughs> Cute buddy. Cute buddy. You gonna hold still? He's one of the wigglier ones. He's very big. His eyes? No, his claws. Good job, buddy. Good job. Look at your eyes. They're so cute. Can you see them? The light in here stinks. Good job, Clark. Okay. This one didn't have its eyes open either. This is a uh, Russ. He's almost there. Barely. They're open in the corners. <laughs> He's cute. Oh my gosh. And we can do this so fast because like their toenails grow out grow out in like a hook. So you just have to like hook it and you know you're not taking too much off. Your eyes are a little bit open, huh? You're so cute. Look at that. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, okay. Just, okay. Just for the camera. Yep. Okay. And Audrey here, she was the first one to open her eyes. She had them open like two days before everyone else. I think I already showed you hers. And uh, Gizzy's right there watching us. Look at your wide eyes. You are so cute. Okay, all done, just in time for a company. And I'm just gonna bring the box out into the living room because I don't want everyone hanging out in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the family just left. They stayed for about an hour. And now it's about eight something and I've, we're gonna put up our Christmas stuff. There's our tree. Um, Chloe's here now. Uh, so far, Frank hasn't gotten this job done so I don't know I don't know if it's gonna happen Chloe Chloe she's a cute little thing she's one of our puppies okay Rich is bringing in the Christmas stuff and I'm gonna go start take putting away this Thanksgiving stuff Rich got 
we've got everything going on everywhere. I feel like um, Rich got these shelves put in, and then there there's some that'll go right here too. Um, I ah. came in here to grab this Christmas tree because this is going on our front porch. It's cute. I'm gonna arrange the berries on there better. Come on, um, Chloe. Come on. Everyone can smell all the dog treats in here. Come on. Okay. And then I'm going to put up the Christmas wreath too. That is this. It's pretty plain. And then um, this Christmas sign out there. Maybe I'll show you tomorrow how it looks when it's not dark. Well, I got the front porch done. And then I somehow ended here on the couch again. <laughs> um, Rich just turned Family Man on. It's my favorite Christmas movie. I love it. And the tree's right there. So, and all the other stuff's over there. So we're making a little bit of progress. I don't want to rush into it, I guess. <laughs>